You ever see a girl and you feel way too anxious to approach her? Or if you do talk to her, you're shaking in your boots and you end up getting rejected. Well, today, we gonna fix that. What up, homie? My name is Dave and I put up new videos every Tuesday and every Friday to help you get the girls you want and become the man you're meant to be. So, if you haven't subscribed yet, then make sure to hit that button and smash that bell so you don't miss your chance at that next awesome girl. And I'm over here with the beast once again. What's going on, guys? <laughs> and yeah, man, Austin's pretty sick. Bro, you gotta come down here more often. I think I might, I think I might. But anyway, today you guys are gonna learn how to approach any girl with the ultimate confidence. So you're talking to them like a boss, right? Yeah, zero anxiety, straight confidence. Straight confidence, let's get into it. We've been acting out for days, nothing to deny. All right, man, so picture this. You're going out with a couple of your buddies. Maybe you even have a couple drinks before you get to the bar. You get there, walk in, you're feeling awesome. You guys are all hyped up. And all of a sudden, across the room, you see this girl and she's exactly your type. Seriously, stop and picture that happening. What's going through your head? So for me, like a lot of times I wouldn't even approach her because I would think she's out of my league. I would walk up, just get rejected super hard and it would be terrible. Yeah, a lot of times for me, man, it was I was afraid what other people were going to think. If she was near other people at the bar, I was afraid they were going to hear it. And if she turned me down, it was going to be so embarrassing. And I just got paralyzed. Point is, man, you got to be conscious of what that means for you. So if you're anything like me and you're afraid that girls are going to be out of your league, then that might mean that you need to increase your perception of yourself. So that can mean going to the gym, improving your style. Getting a better haircut. Like, I don't know if y'all noticed, but I got that fresh haircut yesterday. How, how you feeling, bro? You got that fresh haircut? I got it. That's what that means. But if you're like me and you're afraid of other people maybe overhearing you, you got to realize in a bar, people aren't really trying to listen to other people's conversations. So in that case, it's not even a real, it's not even a real fear. Like if, if anything, those guys are looking at you being like, oh man, like, what's that guy doing? Like, does he have a chance? What's going to happen? And they're just jealous. What are you thinking? You're about a hundred feet away without them breathing and be brave. All right, so check it out. All of us have comfort zones, and I want you to picture a circle because that's basically your comfort zone. Everything inside of the circle are things that you're not afraid of doing. Yeah, so this could be things like asking for directions or going and talking to a girl that somebody else introduced you to. Exactly. Now, when you get outside of the circle, those are things that you are afraid of doing, but you have to realize that there's different levels to this. Because if you go like way, way, way outside the circle, this is something that you're extremely afraid of. So maybe approaching a girl who's with three of her friends or asking a girl to go on a date with you. And it's, these- It's gonna be too much, it's gonna psych you out, right? Yeah, it's not productive to try and do these things because you're probably just gonna get paralyzed. What you wanna focus on doing is finding those things that are just on the edge of your circle. They're scary, but they're still manageable. So maybe for you, this is you know finding a girl who's all alone and approaching her. And when you do these things that are at the edge of your comfort zone consistently for months and years, what's gonna happen is that circle is gonna slowly expand. And before you know it, doing those super scary things, it's not gonna be that scary anymore. Yeah, and you gotta realize, me and Dave have been doing shit that scares us for years. From approaching girls to- Filming these videos in public. Filming ourselves approaching girls in public. <laughs> yeah, which is a whole nother level. Uh, the point is, we've stretched our comfort zone, but it doesn't mean there's not still things that we're not afraid of. Yeah, for example, there's a super crowded area of people down there. If we go down there right now and I was to start like singing and dancing, that's still kind of scary. Yeah, I wouldn't want to do that, man. Stop. Drop. Shut him down. Open up. Stop. Oh, no, that's a Rough Riders roll. I'm coming for you, cowards, and it's going to be quick. Let your chain hang low, let it rock down to the floor. Let it shine in the light. Is it platinum? Is it gold? Can you throw it on your shoulder if it's hot and makes it cold? Let your chain hang low. Is that your chain? Oh, man. Yeah, I feel like every time I'm making a video with you, we do some ridiculous ass shit. We have to. Yeah, but guys, if this is something you want to do, right, like supercharge your confidence, get over your approach anxiety with these types of challenges, 
But Dave has a course with that, right? Yeah, I got this course. It's called 30 Days to Alpha. And basically how it works is that each day you're going to log in and you're going to get a new challenge that forces you to expand your comfort zone, to expand that circle one step bigger. And the idea is that it doesn't matter how shy or quiet of a guy you are right now. If you join the course and you make it to day 30, doing things like approaching hot girls, approaching groups of girls, asking girls out, like all of this can be easy for you. Yeah, I've checked out the course myself. It's awesome. And Dave's actually hooking up a discount for everybody who watches this video. 50% off, insane. 50% off, just hit the first link in the description. But hold up bro, I I'm only gonna allow this for the next three days, then it's back to regular price. So you better take advantage right now. A lot of anxiety stems from just not knowing what to say when you talk to a girl. So what can you do to solve that? Well, there's really two simple things you can plan out just a little bit to make it easier. What are those things? So the first is to have a couple of conversation starters in your back pocket. Maybe something simple like, hey, you guys look like fun. How's your night going? Or hey, I know it's just random, but I saw you walking by and thought you were cute and I wanted to say hi. Boom you get a couple in your pocket. Then you can have a good way to bridge the conversation, which a lot of times that can be to make an assumption like you seem like a creative girl or you seem like you're from Los Angeles or Atlanta or wherever. It could also be something super simple like asking what she's up to. Whatever the case, you have your starter and your bridge and that's gonna help you to build the conversation. So then when you see that girl, you're not gonna be wondering, where do I go, how do I take this? You're gonna know exactly what you're gonna do. And bro, that little bit of certainty is gonna help you to eliminate a lot of that approach anxiety. I can see what we are, don't know where we belong. Wanna know what you're thinking, wanna know if something's missing. Started stories before, but they ended up. All right, so, like, what is the reason that you approach a girl in the first place? It's probably because you wanna hook up with her or you want her to become your girlfriend, maybe, or something. And that's normal. That's the outcome of the situation that you want. But the funny thing is that if you're thinking about this outcome when you're approaching the girl, it's gonna fuck you. It's gonna make it seem like it's this big deal and you got all of this, you have so much riding on the interaction because this could, could be the next girl you hook up with. This could be your next girlfriend. Yeah, when you think about it, like how many girls have we approached? Thousands. And how many girlfriends do we have? have we had? I've approached thousands of girls. I've had three girlfriends. I've done the same. I've probably had like two or three at most. And it's funny because that means that like the chance of any single interaction turning into something like super meaningful is like nothing, bro. So the next time you're thinking about approaching a girl and you're getting all nervous, just remind yourself that it's supposed to be fun, right? It's not supposed to be this big deal. Yeah, man. It's like when you go to the gym, you do a bunch of reps, right? Approaching a girl is just like another rep. That rep itself is not super important, but, but like it, it is a stepping stone to get you where you're trying to go. Bottom line is, we just out here doing reps, whether we in the gym or we at the club. So boom, boom, boom. Another rep, another rep, <laughs> another rep. You did get Khaled over here. Another one. And speaking of taking more reps, we just filmed a video on How To Be's channel. What's it called? How to get hot girls, even if you're average looking. Boom, you can check that out right here. Let's keep it going. I'll see you there, homie.